Hey, what's going on guys? It's CJ. So I'm in my attic. This is where the electrician noticed that the water was leaking around the septic pipe. He put his hand around the pipe and he realized that water was dripping down. So what he said is that the rubber seal at the top is probably cracked or deteriorated. So uh, it's not a plumbing issue. It's just the fact that at the top of the roof, the seal needs to be replaced or needs to be fixed. So let's go ahead and get on the roof and check it out. Okay, so I was in my attic and the electrician was doing something. He put his hand around the septic pipe down in the attic and he felt water leaking down. Uh, so what he said is probably the seal on the roof around the septic pipe is either cut or deteriorated and that's exactly what it is. All right, so what... I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually patch this but I'm not going to pull this up because there's really no reason to uh, as you can see it's cracked you know it's dry rot around here so what I did is I bought a rubber boot from a Home Depot it was like $23 what's kind of cool about this is that you can cut it down the size so what you're gonna need is this rubber boot and then you're gonna need flex seal or some kind of roofing caulk basically this is loctite polyurethane sealant roof and flashing chimneys joints and shingles you need a caulk gun and some scissors to cut your rubber boot down the size and a ladder obviously tall enough to get you on your roof so let's go ahead and place this on top and just see what it will look like so i'm not replacing this i'm just going to be placing a new one over top which is going to cover the crack and the dry rotting underneath and it will stop the water from going around it down into the attic into the floor feeling of the bathroom all right so feels like i'm gonna have to cut it down to here i'm gonna start here first and then we'll see what it looks like okay so i cut my boot down the size and then i got my sealant caulk i put a nice bead all the way around it on both sides as you can see all right, and now I'm gonna place this right on top. And this is just gonna act as another seal. And then you can just bend it down to where you want it to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and caulk around it again. The idea is that you're sealing it underneath of it, around it. I'm probably just gonna use all the Loctite caulking just because I don't really need this anymore. And I'm just gonna use it all up. This way there is no more issues. And I might even just put a nice bead under here just to seal this to the roof it's not going to hurt anything it's almost like using a tar honestly it's just it's not as strong as tar but it's pretty close it's going to rain really bad possibly snow in the next few days so i really wanted to get this done now water can go down inside the septic pipe there's nothing wrong with that the problem here is the water dripping down around it it's going in the attic and then it's going to the ceiling of the bathroom so you don't want that and it's not really a that bad of a leak but it will turn into a bad leak if it's not taken care of this is something you can do yourself just go to Home Depot or Lowe's buy you can buy the bigger one or you can buy just the rubber boot it doesn't really matter all you're trying to do is cover up the dry rot, the cracking of the current seal that you have around your septic pipe. You know, if you buy the bigger one, then you're going to end up having to take your shingles off, and that requires a lot more work. We're just trying to stop this leak by replacing, by covering the seal up with... A new seal instead of having to replace it you're just basically using double protection now so 
you know, if I called a roofer out, this would have cost me probably a thousand dollars just to do this. I mean, maybe to replace the whole entire thing. And, you know, I'm not willing to spend that money, even though I have it. I don't want to spend that money. This rubber boot cost me $23. You know, this, I already had a caulk gun. I'm sure you have a caulk gun. Uh, if you don't, you can buy one. It's pretty cheap. The Loctite. The Loctite roof and flashing caulk didn't cost much money. Uh, I think it was like maybe $15 or, or less, I can't remember. So you can save a lot of money by doing things by yourself. You know, all in all, it comes down to convenience. You wanna spend the money, you wanna spend all that money just to take care of something silly, go ahead and do it. Or you can save a lot of money and do it yourself. All you gotta do is get the right tools. And even if you don't have a caulk gun, ask your neighbor, hey, neighbor, you got a caulk gun? Hey, neighbor, you got a ladder? I mean, I have a tall ladder, but I didn't have a ladder to get on my roof. But guess what? I asked my mother-in-law who has a ladder that could get me on the roof. So you just gotta ask around. You know, don't, you gotta think outside the box sometimes. Sometimes we're closed-minded and we think we don't have what we need but it's not about having what you need in your house. It's called asking somebody around that you know that might have what you need. So don't just always rely on what you have in your house. You know, yeah, the ladder that I used to get on this roof costs 150 bucks that I just saw at Home Depot, but my mother-in-law had one, so I didn't have to buy one. So I'm sure somebody could get you a ladder to get on your roof. Now, if you're afraid of heights, then ask somebody else who could, who wouldn't mind getting on the roof to do this. It, there's nothing scary about it. I'm on the roof. It's not that high. If I fell off, I'm not going to die. I would just probably, you know, hurt myself a little bit, but, you know, break a bone. I mean, come on, guys. You can do this. You can do it. So, that looks good. I'm just trying to use up the rest of the... The rest of this uh, stuff inside, I, I'm not going to have to use it again, so, you know, just want to make sure that's on nice. And no, I'm not a roofer, but I've asked around of what to do, and this is what people have told me. So, you know, just following what people told me, what they recommend, <clears throat> and you know what? I did it, and it's not going to leak anymore. And I'm not paying money for a roofer. Now, if it's going to require shingles being replaced, then, yeah, I'm probably going to call a roofer. So, but that's not the case. All I'm going to do is just swipe it up. Swipe it. I'm going to swipe it. Swipe it all around. Like a volcano. Tar the volcano yeah 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 yes all right nice smooth hell yeah look at that oh yeah it's like ice cream look at that it's like a chocolate nice dark chocolate seal I love spackle. I know this is a spackle, but I'm saying I love uh, spackling. It's just something I've always enjoyed to do, is spackle something. It's just fun. I don't know what it is about it, spackle. She's looking good. I mean, she's not gonna, she's definitely not going anywhere, I can tell you that much. And if she does go somewhere, then we got a problem. We got a problem, man. But you know what? She's not going nowhere. No, she's not. No, she ain't. She ain't going nowhere. Okay? Yep. She ain't going nowhere. Not at CJ's house. 
she can go nowhere. And that looks good. So there we go. No more leaks. And that's it. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!